obsession is with the removal of pubic hair these days. There's razors, there's lasers, there's electrolysis, there's waxes, there's lotions, there's creams. Back in my day, if we didn't like pubic hair, we removed it the old-fashioned way. Friction. Back in the 70s, if a lady dropped a lit cigarette in her lap, somebody would yell out, bushfire, and everybody would laugh. These days, most nobody would get it. 47% of all women shave that thing clean off. Another 20% another 20 barber it down to some degree, which means only about a third of the women out there are all natural. Some years ago, I was training as a janitor at the Deaconess Medical Center, so I had to work with another lady cleaning her area. And the first thing that we did was go into the men's locker room and start cleaning in there. Now, to be a nice guy, I said, I'll clean the urinal and the toilet if you want to clean the sink. She says, okay. So she gets up to the sink and she says, just, just what is it that men do at the sink anyway? I said, I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. She said, well, every day when I come in here to clean the sink, there's pubic hair in there. Now, I knew something that she did not know. I had a locker in that locker room, and 10 minutes earlier, I had been at that sink. So I walked up there, and I looked in the sink, and I said, how do you know that's pubic hair? She said, well, well look at it. It's black and curly. What else could it possibly be? I said, well, maybe it's a beard hair. Now, at the time, my beard was entirely black. She looked at me and she said, Oh, yeah, I never noticed it before, but it does look like you have pubic hair all over your face. <laughs> I said, or maybe it's a chest hair. So I opened my shirt and I showed her a chest hair. I only had one, but I showed it to her. <laughs> she says, Oh, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions and assumed anything. So she reached in there with her bare hand and grabbed a hold of that thing. And as soon as she had it between her fingers, I said, No, actually, we clean our teeth. <laughs> Some years ago, a friend had asked me, Geez, Phil, you should smile more. It makes people wonder what you've been up to. I said, If I smiled more, they'd see the hairs between my teeth and know exactly what I've been up to. <laughs> when I go out with a girl and she takes off her panties, if there's no hair down there, the first thing I ask is how old she is. I don't want to be arrested for being a pedophile. Second thing I'll ask her is if she's on chemotherapy. I don't want to be banging some cancer chick. <laughs> A few years back, I had a medical emergency at St. Vincent Hospital, and they have an orderly there that is affectionately known as the Bushwhacker. He is a six foot four black guy. He walks into my room with an electric razor, and I swear this is the truth. He shaves me from my neck to the tips of my toes and everything in between, even my giblets, right in front of my wife. She said he's never had his legs shaved before, and he's never been manscaped. That's what they call it when a man trims his pubic regions, is manscaping. I don't manscape. I have pubic hair that's longer than my penis. <laughs> now, that's either really long pubic hair or a really short penis. A few years ago, I had a rash on my back, and uh, my boss is a couple years older than me, and two years before that, he'd had a rash on his back that turned out to be skin cancer. So I thought, I better take this thing seriously. So I made an appointment with Dr. Tallman, and I went out there to have him have, have a look at it. He says, well, I can tell you right now, that's not cancer. I said, well, what is it then? He said, um, when, when we get older, we're not as moist as we used to be. I said, what? I have to pay you $200 to tell me I'm a crusty old man? My kids do that six times a day and it doesn't cost me a damn thing. He said, in the future, every other time that you shower, wash only the hairy parts. I said, wash only the hairy parts? Look at me! The only parts of me that aren't hairy is the head of my penis and the soles of my feet. Wash only the hairy parts. A couple weeks ago, one of the guys at work came in, and he had a rash on his forehead. So I said, hey, what's with the rash? He said, oh, my girlfriend hasn't shaved her pubic regions in a couple of weeks, and uh, when I was going down on her, it kind of irritated my forehead there a little bit. I said, that's okay, buddy. We all go through a rough patch once in a while. <laughs> You 
guys have been a great audience. I'm Phil Cohen, the Bullshit Team. Thank you.